So you just downloaded WoW, but you do not know where to start. My name is Swag, and I would be honored to help you take your first steps into the world of Warcraft. When you first load into the game, it'll take you immediately into the character creation menu. But before you get caught up creating the most epic hero the world has ever seen, you might want to take a moment and pick your realm. Your realm is the server that your character will be housed on and has a huge impact on what guild you can join and your daily experiences within the game. Back out of the character creation screen and you will see your empty character selection screen. In the top right corner, click change realm. At this point, you can do one of two things. If you have friends that play WoW, pick the server they play on. If you do not, choose a server that is higher or full population. I'll list here a couple more popular servers and which faction has the advantage on that server. What's a faction you ask? <laughs> Great question. Factions are the backbone of the story and gameplay in WoW. Players are divided by two factions known as the Alliance and the Horde. Essentially, the story of WoW started with orcs coming from a dying world to Azeroth. That's the world that Warcraft takes place on, and they were attempting to make a new home for themselves. The humans fought to protect themselves during this attack, and the battles between the two have continued ever since. The humans founded the Alliance, and the orcs were known as the Horde. Both factions have been recruiting other races to their side. If you have friends that play on one faction, I highly suggest choosing their faction as it does impact who you can game with in some areas of the game. So you've got your server and you know what side you want to be on. That's great, but now what? This is where things get fun. Both factions have a plethora of races that you can choose from, and each of those races has different classes that they can play. Not all races can choose all classes. So we'll look at classes first since they have the largest impact on your gameplay experience. I'm gonna break down the different ways that each class plays, but keep in mind, this is extremely basic, and each class has multiple ways that they can be played. These are referred to as specializations. The first breakdown is between melee and range types. Does your character attack up close or far away? Melee classes include warriors, hunters, rogues, paladins, druids, shamans, monks, demon hunters, and death knights. Range classes include hunters, mages, priests, warlocks, druids, shaman, and evokers. The other important thing to know when picking your class is what role you want to play. Within the game, there are three roles that are needed for any group play. Tanks, DPS, and healers. The DPS stands for damage per second, and they are the damage dealers of the group. As a new player, I highly suggest starting as a DPS. This will give you the safest environment for learning the game, as tanks and healers are often expected to have a solid understanding of certain game mechanics. All classes can be DPS, so feel free to choose any class for damage. However, tanks and healers are more limited. Tank classes include warriors, paladins, druids, monks, demon hunters, and death knights, while healer classes include priests, paladins, druids, shaman, monk, and evokers. Once again, most classes can play multiple roles and ranges. That's why you may have seen repeats on the list. Once you've decided what class you would like to play, look through the race list within your faction to find which race appeals to you the most and has that class available. You will find alliance races on the left side and horde races on the right side. Each race has their own special abilities, but these are pretty minor and I would not worry about them for now. Please note that it is possible to unlock five additional races for both alliance and horde later on in the game. Once you've designed and named your character, you'll be dropped right onto a boat for the tutorial experience. This does a great job at teaching you the basics of the game and how to play your class. A few notes, however. While your main movements are controlled by using your WASD keys, your mouse can also be a powerful tool for movement as well. Holding left click and moving your mouse will allow you to look around, but holding both buttons on your mouse and moving will cause your character to walk and turn with your mouse movements. This can be pretty helpful at times. The tutorial island will conclude with a dungeon and your character will be sent back to your faction's major city. The bright and shining Stormwind for the Alliance players and the strong Fortress of Orgrimmar for the Horde players. Capital cities are an important hub for many player needs and the tutorial will walk you through most basics like using innkeepers, getting your mount, and banks. However, there are a few notes I would like to add. In most major cities, you can find an auction house. If you don't know where it is, ask a guard and they will mark it on your mini-map. 
The auction house is a place for players to sell items to other players. These can be items found from killing NPCs, running dungeons, or that you crafted. Speaking of crafting items, each player can learn two professions. Your professions allow you to either gather resources for crafting or craft powerful items using resources. These items can be used for power increases or to sell in the auction house for gold. While this is important to know, as a new player, do not be afraid to ignore professions until you feel more ready to learn them. In fact, it might be a good idea to wait until level 60 and start your professions when you enter into the Dragon Isles. During the walkthrough of your capital city, you will finally be prompted to pick your specialization. This will determine the playstyle of your class. But do not worry, this can be changed at any time. Some classes, like mages, are a minor change, while other classes, like druids, each spec is a radically different playstyle. Again, I would encourage new players to pick a damage specialization. During your tutorial experience, you learned all about quests, and that is the main way that players can earn experience and level up. However, sometimes leveling can get a bit dull, or at least for me, I need a break. That's where dungeons can be super helpful. Dungeons grant a large amount of experience and the bosses can drop strong items. At the bottom of your screen, you'll see a dungeon finder tool. Click on that and queue up for a dungeon with the role you have specialized into. Some more advanced players will pick multiple roles. This will take some time, so once you join the queue, just keep working on quests, but eventually an alert to join a dungeon will pop up. Once you accept, you'll be teleported into a dungeon with four other players. Follow the tank around and start attacking anything that they pull. If you start getting attacked, the tank will come grab that enemy's attention and the healer will heal you right up. Be careful not to try and run ahead on your own. This is group content and you do need your group to survive. When you've killed all bosses in the dungeon, you can right click on your character's profile picture and click leave instance group. You will leave the group and be teleported back to where you were before joining the dungeon. Lastly, one of the greatest features in the world of Warcraft is its guild system. Guilds are groups of players that band together to support each other and progress further into the game. Guilds are super helpful for finding friends to do a lot of the end game content, like mythic dungeons and raids, but they can also be super helpful for leveling and new players learning the game. You can search through guilds by pressing your J key. Find a guild that's description seems to fit you. Social and leveling guilds are often very new player friendly. Welcome to the world of Warcraft. I hope this guide was helpful for you to get started. But if you have any further questions, please leave them in the comments below or join my Discord. I would love to make more guides for other aspects of this game. And of course, it would be huge if you could hit that subscribe button and uh, click on that noti bell as well. Now go make your character. Or don't, that's fine too. I got more videos over here. Uh, you can click on one of those. That's fine. Uh, you can do that too. So whatever you want, just go. Go make your... All right, I'll see you around.